Hello everyone, this presentation is for EDUC 703. This is discussion board four on the philosophical analysis. My name is Melissa Yarbrough. When I first started my annotated bibliography, I actually did my annotated bibliography on Horace Mann and Robert Owens. But as I started getting into the research, I discovered that having been an instructional coach and currently an instructional coach and having worked so closely with teachers that William Chandler Bagley kind of grasped my attention. And <clears throat> so I decided to do my philosophical analysis on him. So I'm going to start with um, some background information on Bagley. He had a kind of transient school career, early career, so he felt that that kind of gave him a um, way to compare educators. He had had so many early childhood educators that he felt it was a good indicator of how he could compare childhood educators. So <clears throat> when he went on to college, he actually started his college career and graduated with a degree in agriculture. And when he got out, he discovered, wait, I don't have any land to farm. So he said, I'm going to go back to school and I'm going to get a law degree. Well, not having funds to get a law degree, during the meantime, he was offered a teaching position at a small rural school in Michigan. And his plan was to teach for a couple of years, get some money, and then go to law school. But as he started teaching, he fell in love with the profession. And as he was there, he started doing all this research and trying to get all he could um, read literature and, and look at research on student behavior and teacher behavior. And what he discovered was there was actually more research out there on the behavior of pigs and cows and horses than there were on students and teachers. So he wanted to remedy this. His philosophy of education was that he believed teachers were the most important people. This was the most important profession that exists. And he felt that teachers were not getting the, the, the respect that they deserved, and he felt that was, this was because there were no dedicated teacher colleges and there were no organizations dedicated to teachers. Now, he came into his profession right at the peak of the pro progressive reform movement. And while he did agree with some of the philosophies of his contemporaries like John Dewey, he also believed that some of them were detrimental to the education field, one of those being the he felt biased intellectual test. He felt that um, there were panaceas, panaceas being put out there for cure, as cure-alls for some of the problems within education, and he felt that this was detrimental to um, ed the educational society. So he started um, an organization called Kappa Delta Pi, which is still very prominent today, and he did this because, just like his idea of teacher colleges, he felt that if you could get a diverse group of people together who shared different ideas, but shared a passion for education, that you could create a whole nother realm of respect, professionalism, and success for teachers in the United States. This is my presentation on William Chandler Bagley. Thank you and have a nice day.